M0FXB, let's show you how to program your radio using Chirp. So we're at FT3D here. So the first thing you do is download Chirp, like so. I'll put the link in, click download. Go down to, I'm using Windows, and then click it. Now you do need the SCU20 cable, and you want to get your driver from Yesu. Put a link in, your USB driver. Okay, once you've got all that, Let's load the pro run the chirp program, which looks like this when you first get it. Now we need to follow the instructions. So we're going to go radio, download from radio. Give it a minute and you'll get the selection. Now can you see you've got com number here? So we need to right click device manager, double click ports, and there's your prolific USB to serial com driver and we're number 10. Now remember if, if you've got Windows 11 you may get an error just right click update driver then click browse and then click let me pick and choose an old driver which hopefully is already on your PC. So once you've done that you need to select Yesu from the drop down it's quite near the bottom and then FT3D now it will work on the FT5D as well and the FT2D um, so click OK, and then follow the instructions. Now it says turn off the radio, which we'll do. Hold down the DISP key and then turn on, which we've done. Um, after clicking OK here in chat, that's it. Hold down DSP while turning on the radio. Clone appears, which you can see that. After clicking OK here in chat, press the send. So we're now going to press OK here. And then we're going to press send. And now it's sending everything on your radio to the computer. And it's recommended that you always read the radio for the first time. Okay, that's read the radio. All good. Now, I don't see that it reads the digital channel, puts them in as digital. But it doesn't matter because the radio is AMS and would automatically switch. But anyway, if you want to switch, if you want to add a channel, just double click. Here, let's say we're going to do DB3WR for 145.600 and we'll name it DB3WR. Now, this one does have a tone, but if it hasn't, just leave it on none but tone. Then we have a tone frequency which is required to open up the repeater. So just go select that and you're looking for 70. Actually, 94.8 on GB3WR. That should have been tone. Uh, duplex, yeah, we want a minus shift. But you could do plus if it's 70 centimeters. And it's not showing digital. So, but like I said, and you can change the power though. Like I said, you can, you can um, the radio will automatically switch anyway if you select AMS. When you select mode on the radio, just leave a line above it and then it will do that. Okay, and you've got some other options here. You can export, you can save, save as. It's got a thing here which shows, uh, where is it? I'm trying to find this, the repeater. I know you've got repeater book here somewhere. You've got open stock file. That's an interesting one. All these different channels that you can click on these and, and you'll have all them as well. Now it's definitely got a repeater thing somewhere. Import data source, there it is, repeater book. Anyway, once you're happy, to send it back to the radio, you just go radio, upload to radio. Now you should already be in the correct mode. This time we do things just a little bit, a little bit different than receiving. So again, that's all the same, COM10, Yesu, FT3, click OK. But this time we're going to press receive and then we're going to click OK. And now it's sending everything on the computer to the FT3D. And that's it. So I hope this helps. Now there is free software uh, called ADMS something on the Yesu site and, also, and the other one you can use which is very good, very um, goes more in depth into the radio settings is the RT system software. So thanks for watching my channel. And catch you on air, 7-3, all the best. Please remember to subscribe.